Do I look more cute? Do you put this inside? Got a sausage in it. That's our how is it, Ting Ting? I'm an Australian and my channel is all about food, travel, and language. If you're into that kind of thing, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit like on this video. Today's video is all about weird things that you can buy at Taiwan 7 Eleven. Let's get started. Okay, so this is my fourth year living in Kaohsiung, Taiwan now and I visit 7-Eleven convenience store on a regular basis because it's just very convenient and it's everywhere. But 7-Eleven sell a lot of really weird stuff that, that to me as an Australian is very weird. I don't think this stuff is weird to Taiwanese people. I'd like to know what you think. Don't forget to comment below and let me know. So I thought, well, um, today I will buy some of that stuff and try it and see if it tastes as weird as I'm expecting it to taste. <laughs> so today I've got five weird things that you can buy at Taiwan 7-Eleven. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to describe this as fish strips. I've actually seen a similar thing in Costco before and the first time that I ate something like this was at someone's house when we um, went for a cup of tea and they serve this along with the tea. Um, I see this one at 7-Eleven all the time, but when it's next to chocolate, of course I'm gonna buy the chocolate. So it's kind of like these strips, white strips of fish. Oh, I, it smells really fishy. It tastes really fishy. Ah, look, it's okay. I just don't really understand why anybody would want to eat dried strips of fish. Do you put this inside like a sandwich? Because you put this in between two bits of bread and maybe put some soy sauce and tomato sauce on it. Oh no, that sounds disgusting. I'm really interested in what this goes with. What do you have this with? You just eat it by itself or do you put it on something? It seems like something you just eat by yourself. Oh, it's super weird to have fish as a snack like that. So I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I don't really like it because I'm not used to it. Growing up, I would have never eaten a snack that tasted like fish before. So number one weird thing is dried fish strips. Okay, so the second weird thing is this. And actually, uh, pea crackers in themselves are not weird. I've had the original flavor. I've had the spicy flavor. They're actually quite delicious. I still prefer regular potato chips. I suppose that's just because it's what I'm used to. But um, these Taiwanese pea crackers are actually quite delicious. But recently I've seen this one, mixed berries flavor. This is weird because mixed berries is something that I think should be on dessert in a yogurt, not on a cracker, not on a chip, which I think is usually supposed to be a savory thing. So I'm interested to see if this is sweet or not. Okay. Have a look. Okay, it looks like that. It looks like the regular pea cracker. I don't even know what's going on with this. Sweet. It tastes like berry. It tastes a bit salty. It tastes like the regular pea cracker. It tastes like this. It tastes like the way it looks, except for that it also has berry flavor. It is so weird. I'm going to say that something that is amazing about living in Taiwan is that Taiwan is a food adventure. Every day is a food adventure. I've said before in one of my videos that Taiwanese people are very inventive when it comes to food. And basically, the person who makes pea crackers has just gone, well, you know what? Why can't we make mixed berry flavor? And then, I don't know, the guy next to him said, well, let's just do it and let's just see if people buy it and eat it. And um, this is actually really cute because it's marketed as the girls <laughs> version. Do I look more cute eating it? Nah, I don't think I'm cute enough to be a curly or girl. Sorry guys. Weird, okay? That's the second weird thing. Here is my third weird thing. Smoked 
sausage bun. So most sausage bun is not weird in itself, but this comes off the shelf and its shelf life is three days. It can be kept at 28 degrees or below for three days. It's got a sausage in it and that's just weird. A sausage that's been sitting on the shelf for three days. Could it possibly taste good? There was only one on the shelf when I went there, so people must be buying it. People are either buying it and eating it or they're putting one out and after three days they're throwing it away and putting another one out. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't keep restocking an item that wasn't selling. So let's try it. I'm willing to try it. I'm not gonna say it's disgusting before I try it. Ugh. That bread's really soft. I just feel like it's gonna be sweet because almost all bread in Taiwan is sweet. Okay. It's kind of like just got a sausage sitting in the bread there. Is this safe? I think that the reason why I don't like it is all in my mind. I actually think there's probably nothing wrong with this hot dog, which has been on the shelf for three days. I just think that because I know it's been on the shelf for three days, I feel like that's not right. Something in my mind tells me this isn't right. But you know what? It tastes just like a hot dog. I don't even know how they do that. I don't even know how it tastes exactly the same. When it's meat that's been sitting at room temperature for three days. So weird, so weird. This is so much fun. Who would think that going down to the convenience store and buying a few things that you've never eaten before could be so much fun. My hope is, and my goal for when you watch my videos is, I hope that you'll smile. Maybe you'll even laugh if I manage to do something funny enough. If you laugh, if you smile when I watch my videos, then I've reached my goal. <laughs> okay, so this is our weird thing number four out of five. So if you're a person that can't read Chinese, you're just gonna look at that. And what do you think it is? Well, I tell you what I would think it was if I couldn't read it and didn't know what it was. Cubes of poo. This is dolgan, which is dried tofu. Usually dolgan, when I think of that word, I'm thinking of something that I might have in a Taiwanese restaurant. It's tofu that is marinated in soy sauce and it's actually really delicious, but it does not look like this. So let's see what the 7-Eleven Dogan is like. Do you think it might be a bit like beef jerky, except for that it's not meat? Kind of brown, a bit, uh, bit translucent. The outside doesn't taste like anything. Oh, it's really chewy. That has the exact flavor of dogan in the restaurant, but it looks completely different and the texture is completely different. It's so weird. I don't really understand why you would buy this as a snack. And again, it's probably just because I've not ever ha thought about having this as a snack. Again, if I walk into a 7-Eleven and I want a snack, I'm probably going to want a piece of fruit, a yogurt, or a chocolate bar if I want something sweet. So it would never occur to me to buy this as a snack. Is it nutritious? It's 30% protein, which is actually really high in protein. And that makes sense because I assume it's made from soybean. Okay, so this could potentially be a good snack for somebody who wanted more protein. I'll have another one, I'll give it another go. Wow, it's that weird chewy texture that's weird. It's weird. It's not as weird as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, that's um, that's fourth weird thing. Oh wow, you're still here. Thank you for still being here. We're on to the fifth and last thing, which is a drink. And it is apple milk. I don't really know why. But chocolate milk, perfectly normal. Banana milk, perfectly normal. Watermelon milk, that the first time I've ever had that is in Taiwan, but seems pretty normal to me now. Strawberry milk, totally normal, delicious. Apple milk, apple milk. The only thing that I can think that would be weirder than apple milk is orange milk. Orange milk would be weird. Lemon milk would be weird because that would just taste like milk that had gone off. Apple milk, okay. I'll try you. I forgot to show you the packaging. Ugh. Wasn't really expecting it to be that color, like a, a yellow color. Like a color a banana milk should be. Why is it this color? 
because the inside of apples are yellow, aren't they? Smells like apple. Ugh. It tastes exactly like you would imagine apple in milk would taste like. Oh, it's so weird. But thank you, Taiwan, for giving me all of these amazing experiences and this amazing stuff to try. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like my video, please hit like. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more Taiwan, more food, more language, more travel stuff. And uh, my name is Ting Ting, and I'll see you next time in Taiwan. <laughs> Bye. Ugh. Nope. Ugh, still not used to it. <laughs>